What's going on guys, Aldrin Astacio here with flightpath.com and today's quick tip Tuesday video, just wanna to talk to you about firmware updates for the DJI Mavic Air. So in this video, I just wanna quickly talk to you, not necessarily doing the update through the Wi-Fi and on through the phone, but actually doing it with the provided cable that is in your Mavic Air package plugging it into the Mavic Air and then into the computer. So if you use the internal storage on your DJI Mavic, it does have an eight gig internal storage for your photos and videos. More than likely you should have this plug, which is the USB to USB-C plug. And of course that goes on the very back of your DJI Mavic right here. And what you're gonna do is just plug that in and then of course plug it into your computer to download those photos and videos that were stored on the internal drive. But what you can also do with this cord is do the firmware update. So I know most of the time you'll see the firmware update will show up on your app and you can do it via Wi-Fi. A lot of people don't really know that you can actually do the firmware update on the Mavic Air as well as the remote through the application itself. There's actually an app called the DJI Assistant app and I'll walk you through exactly how to download those. First thing you'll wanna do is download the latest DJI Go 4 app on your mobile device. We wanna make sure that we're on the latest software and the latest app, so the first thing we'll do is download the latest DJI Go 4 app on your Android phone or on your mobile iOS device. Next, you'll wanna to go to the DJI website and download the latest DJI Assistant application on the Mavic Air page. So the first thing we'll do is go into the DJI website, just go to dji.com. And once you get there, you're gonna to go to the very top where it says consumer, scroll down to Mavic Air, click on Mavic Air. And then right here at the very top, you'll see it says downloads. And on the right hand side here, it says DJI Assistant to version 1.2.3. It's also for PC as well as on Mac. So make sure you download whichever operating system you're on. I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna download the DMG file for the Mac DJI Assistant. So of course that version might be outdated depending on when you're watching this, uh, but more than likely it should apply the same. You just wanna make sure you're downloading the most recent DJI Assistant application software uh, before you do this update. Next thing we'll do is now plug in the DJI Mavic Air to your computer. So what you wanna do is launch the application, make sure your remote is on, launch the new app, download the software on your Mac or PC, make sure that your gimbal cover is off before you start this Mavic on because once you start it up, the camera and the gimbal will go through its warm-up process. You wanna make sure that gimbal is off. Plug in your USB-C to the back of your Mavic Air. And then of course, plug in your Mavic Air to your computer. So once you plug it in, start it all up, and the software reads it, it should show your Mavic Air on this home screen now. And as you can see right here, it says connected devices, DJI Mavic Air. We're gonna go ahead and click that. We have firmware update, log export and calibration. We wanna stay within that tab. And as you can see, the latest version, which is 0400, it came out on May 3rd, uh, is the most recent one. So we wanna make sure we are up to date with the most recent firmware. Let's hit upgrade right here on the right hand side. So as it's downloading right now, the process is very similar. Of course, if you did it via Wi-Fi on your phone, the reason why I like doing it here is you just have a little bit more uh, visuals to see exactly what is happening and some of the warnings and things like that are just a little bit easier to read. Uh, and I feel like it's just a little bit of an easier process to see it updating through the computer. And sometimes when I've done it in the past, not so much on the Mavic Air, but sometimes when I've done it in the past through the Wi-Fi uh, on the phone, sometimes I'll get all the way up to like 90, 95% and I'll get some weird error. Then I have to redo it again. I find that if I do it through the DJI Assistant on the software itself, I have uh, almost uh, rarely have any errors or any failures of installation or downloading. So uh, I'm not saying it's, it's always like that. It just used to happen in the past where sometimes you'll get to a certain percent and it'll stop and you'd have to redo it again and again. And eventually I might end up just doing it this way. So whenever I have firmware updates, I more than likely will just go straight to the computer and do the update uh, directly. So once it's downloaded and transmitted, now it's gonna start the updating process. So now you'll see once it starts updating, the yellow lights on the front of the Mavic Air should start to blink. That means the update is actually now happening from your computer to the DJI Mavic Air. Now if I look at the software, it says update is complete. I can hit the back button 
and I should now see the most current update on my DJI Mavic. And there it is right now, it says 0400 current. That means I'm on the most recent firmware. And as you can see here, the, it's dated May 3rd. So right now my Mavic Air is all up to date. So what you wanna do now that the Mavic Air is updated is unplug it and plug in the micro USB adapter that comes with the cord. And you wanna do an update now on the remote control. So get that adapter, plug in the remote control, power the remote on and make sure it's also DJI Assistant is on and we'll now do the update to the remote control the exact same way we did the Mavic Air, we'll do it with the Assistant now. So now that the firmware has been downloaded, it is now updating on the Mavic Air remote and as it updates, you might hear some beeping. So same thing like the Mavic Air, it'll go through its cycles, you'll hear some beeps and some other things happening. Just let the process go, wait till uh, it gets to 100% and if it doesn't, we'll see it should show up if there's any errors. And we have 100% complete, update is complete. We'll hit back and it should say now, there it is, 0100 current. So everything looks to be updated. What you wanna do is now power down everything, power down your remote, power down your Mavic Air, and then restart it all up. Once you restart it, then we'll launch the DJI Go 4 app to make sure that there's nothing showing up there, that there's any firmware updates within the application. So now that we don't see anything, let's launch the app. Let's see exactly what the overall status looks like. Hit the top bar right here. Overall status now, it says nothing, which is perfect. If there was something in there, like if the remote wasn't updated or if the Mavic Air wasn't updated, it would list it out here. If there's any errors, it would also show here. If you guys like these quick tips, don't forget to watch my other ones. I have a couple right here as well as right here. And also, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you click right here to subscribe. I really appreciate your time. This is Ultra Stasio with FlightPath.com. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.